Hey everybody, Bargain Brother with you here again in the Bargain Basement. Your prize winning penny pincher here to help you make and save money. In this video, it's all about the stock market today, particularly stock chart patterns. Today we're going to talk about chart patterns because it's kind of overlooked in what a lot of people do when they're trading. They're just going off of maybe an indicator or some news or they heard a bunch of people on Reddit are gonna buy this stock or that stock and they trade that way. But there are times when you're gonna find yourself in positions holding a bag. And for those who don't know what holding a bag means, it basically means you're holding a losing position until it gets back positive. But sometimes you don't have to hold a bag. Many times you can trade your way out of a position that was losing. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about how to recognize a rising wedge on a stock chart okay but before we do if you found value in this content do me a favor hit the like button subscribe share i greatly appreciate it now let's talk about the rising wedge okay recently i was stuck in a losing position and i've had many of those uh just as you probably have if you've been trading for a while we all have positions that were kind of go the way we didn't think they would go and I noticed a rising wedge happening and that allowed me to trade my way out of that position. Immediately, once I saw the rising wedge, I added to my position to average down. In other words, I brought my average cost per share down because I speculated correctly due to the pattern that was forming that the price of the stock was gonna go up. So we're gonna take a look at a quick graphic here and it's gonna show you what a rising wedge looks like. Okay, so I have the graphic up and you can see the rising wedge kind of happened after we had a downtrend and then it started to form an uptrend and it kind of looks like a little pennant. Another word for it is like a bullish pennant, which means it's going up and it's kind of going in the shape of a pennant flag, like one of those flags that you used to put on the wall uh, when you know when you were growing up for your favorite team or something like that and every time it goes down The low ends up being a little bit higher and when it goes up the high ends up being a little bit higher And eventually the movement gets tight and after that happens It usually goes into a, uh, a bit of a sell-off So you got to be careful and understand and know when to get out, but this is what it looks like and now, what I'm going to do is put up the chart for the stock that I was trading. I'm going to put up the five minute chart, just empty with no moving averages, no indicators of any type, just a five minute chart. Okay, here's a five minute chart for the stock that I was trading. And it just looks like a regular old five minute chart, right? Okay, so in a moment, I'm going to switch this to the five minute chart. It has the rising wedge that I spotted on it and you'll see the difference in that particular uh, chart. So now you can see, here's the rising wedge that I spotted as it was happening. And what I did is I bought some shares as it descended and as that price went up some, it was enough for me to not only get even on that position I was in, but to also be able to take a profit. And it was because I spotted that rising wedge happening early on. And you can kind of see it here. And this is just for me drawing it on there that there it is. It looks like a flag pattern. It kind of looks like a pennant, a bullish pennant going up. You also see that after it reached this peak, it started to sell down, okay? And what I did was I said, while this was happening, I said, let me cross reference it with another time frame. That was the five minute time frame that I was looking at. And I said, let me take a look at another time frame up. And I chose the 15 minute time frame to take a look at it and see if that pattern was holding true. So first I'm gonna put up the 15 minute chart with no indicators, just a naked chart with just candles on it, but the same stock in the same time period. So the 15 minute chart is up and you'll see that on this 15 minute chart, it just looks like a bunch of candles, right? You just got a bunch of candles there and it just looks like a 15 minute chart. But 
if you're looking at it with your third eye to be able to determine when a pattern may be forming, you can see here that we do have a bullish pennant or rising wedge, whatever term you want to use for it, forming. And it did form, and then after that, the price, the next you know, half dozen 15 minute candles or so, all closed lower and it kind of formed a bearish pattern. But that was your time to be able to go into this you know, stock and purchase if you needed to buy a position down by averaging down and then sell once you got uh, to the top of the flag, pin it, or rising wedge, whichever term that you want to use for it. So there it is. That's how I spotted the rising wedge and that's something for you to look for. Uh, one of the many patterns. I'll have other videos coming that are going to talk specifically about chart patterns because it's a huge part of trading that a lot of people overlook is just spotting patterns as they happen. A lot of old school traders use no indicators. They're just trading off of candle patterns and they still have a pretty good level of accuracy. So it's something for you to invest some time in. Okay, that's it for me. I'm gonna get out of here. If you saw value in this content, please hit the like, subscribe, share it. I greatly appreciate that again. Uh, leave comments that you may have about this or other subjects that you would like for me to talk about in the comment box. I'd love to hear those too. And remember, the mindset is everything, so only let the strongest thoughts enter your mind. On that note, I'm out of here.